Hello! In this video, I'm going to show you how to update or install drivers on Acer Predator 17. So drivers can be installed or updated through two different methods and at first I'm going to talk about the native method, the easiest method which is in Windows settings, so get to Windows settings and then go to update and security and now in Windows update you'll find different uh, things after you check for updates Now as you can see it has automatically started, sometimes it doesn't automatically start but it has in this case so you can see it has started downloading then it will start installing and um, it's basically all you need to do here. You can see that not really the drivers are getting installed right now but it's more over the um, Windows updates. Uh, although in many cases you'll find updates being updated here. Then if you go to view optional updates, this option shows up only sometimes if there aren't any optional updates. And if on the driver updates there are any, then you may install them. But these should be installed only if you have a specific problem with any of the drivers listed here. But if you don't have any problem, um, with like you just want to update all the drivers then you should do, do that with the previous screen or with the second web method which I'm gonna show you here. This method the optional updates are only when there's a certain thing that's not working and now let's get to um, I mean we should honestly wait uh, until it's getting downloaded and installed of course you can keep on continue uh, and continue using your device uh, later on it may prompt you to restart your device so once you restart it the updates will be applied and you'll be good to go but now let's talk about the second method which will require you to open the browser okay I'm in the browser so um what you should do is search for Acer Predator 17 drivers and we may need to know our exact model so um, we're gonna get to that in a moment because you know uh, it may be Acer Predator but it may have like some uh, very small differences like a different um, webcam or a different touchpad driver or like different CPU so um, and they can be manufactured in different years different revisions and stuff uh, so we need to know the exact model but before I do that I'm just gonna quickly change the language of um, of the website because it has selected my uh, local language okay so now you should select support on the Acer website and you may need to enter your serial number and this is actually the best method to find out um, to know which model you have so uh, the serial number will be found on the bottom of your device I'm gonna show you that now You can see the serial number is right here. It's of course marked with SN. So what I'm gonna do is just take a picture of it because it's pretty long. I'm not gonna remember it at all. And then I'm gonna enter it to this website. Okay. So uh, instead of the serial number, I've en entered the SNID, which is below the serial number on the back of your device, and it's just shorter, so it's easier to um, enter it. 
And now it has found my product. So you can see here, the exact model is Predata G5-793. In your case, it may be of course different. And then uh, in drivers and downloads, you should select the operating system if there are different options. And um, I think it's the best to select the latest, latest driver release. But in some cases, if you install the latest driver and it's not working, you may need to install a previous um, driver and then you may want to select all. Although I'm gonna leave it on latest and in drivers, under drivers, I can only see uh, really the um, VGA driver honestly I think that there should be more but you can simply download it here uh, then there are things like documents user manuals and stuff BIOS update but if you do if you want to do a, a BIOS update please make sure that you're experienced with computers and, uh, enough and also that your computer is plugged into the power at all times and you just don't click on the power button or anything if you're not prompted to because you may break your system you can just break your product mm, so don't do that if you don't feel comfortable with um, updating the BIOS and then you'll also see the application and these are applications that will help you manage some some system uh, things and i'm gonna get that predator sense which i don't have that's why i'm gonna get it i just need to download it and wait a moment it'll download in either exe or a zip folder uh, if it's in the zip folder then after clicking on open file it'll show me something like that and since it was in zip file folder before using it we should um click on compressed folder tools and extract all then extract and in a moment it'll open the extracted folder uh, and in the extracted folder now we can go into that and select the um, windows installer file or setup i think that setup will be appropriate or like either of those i think that both of them will be just fine uh, then you can see uh, the app it has opened. I just need to accept the license terms. Of course, for any driver, it'll be different. Um, and let's just wait until it gets installed. Okay, we can feel free to fi click on finish. And um, it's basically downloaded, I believe. Yes, I actually have it. Of course, if it's a driver for like VGA Wi-Fi or something, you won't have an app of it, but you'll just see that something started working. Now you have some configuration in the Predator sense if you if that's what you've downloaded. And yeah, there is quite a few things here. Um, I'm going to exit and I hope that video was helpful. That's all for today. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time.